When it comes to Rachel as a character, we've always had this assumption that her goal is to climb the tower, reach the top of the tower, and see the stars. Her desire is seeing the stars. And we've always kind of assumed that that must mean something else, right? Like some of us, maybe we genuinely believe, okay, she just wants to see some stars. But I feel like there's an implication that there's something deeper. But what if there isn't? What if Rachel's goal actually aligns so much closer to what we've already been told of another character. During the Floor of Death, we get this entire backstory on Bomb. We find out that Bomb's parents were actually two members of the 13 Warriors. There were 13 people who climbed the tower together and not 11. Not Jihad and the 10 family heads. V and Arlen were also a part of the gang. And we end up finding out that after Bomb was killed by Jihad and all that stuff happened, Arlen found a way to leave the tower. And there's a really fascinating line during that entire exchange and during that explanation from Garam. Garam describes Arlen leaving the tower, finally leaving the tower, and greeting the outside god and everything. She describes that entire event, but there's one particular detail where Arlen is described as loving the view. Arlen is described as being fascinated or loving the sky and stars and that it reminds her of her hometown because we have to remember everybody came from outside the tower like Jihad's home area you know Gustang's home uh, all these people like their home is outside the tower and Arlen basically says it's a view she hadn't seen you know in thousands and thousands of years like since she had lived outside the tower and like she truly missed that it's just a quick line but that's the implication right but it's so odd and strange because right after getting that weirdly similar, you know, vibe and explanation to what we've always heard about Rachel, we immediately cut to Rachel. That same chapter is when we learn that Rachel thinks that she's the one in the prophecy. She says, Arlen, I'm the one who's going to do this. I'll be the one to get the thorn, etc, etc. So, of course, that brings up an entire discussion about how does Rachel know all of this? How does Rachel know Arlen? But even deeper than that, it's strange, right? Because there's an entire theory that the child in the prophecy really is Rachel and that bomb isn't the son of Arlen and V, and that it's really Rachel. Of course, that kind of gets disproven, you know, not only by Garam's words, even though Garam says this isn't the entire story, but also because Gustang says, like, oh, you're the son of Arlen, right? And uh, Jihad says, those eyes, I thought I killed you before. So, like, it's pretty clear it's bomb. But still, there's something deeper going on with this connection between Rachel and Arlen. Maybe she's a maid, like I've talked about before. There's that theory about why she's so good at tidying clothes and all this stuff. That's a, an interesting theory. But what if, regardless of like her actual relation to Arlen, what if what Rachel wants isn't to climb the tower? What if it's actually to leave the tower? And I know that sounds strange, right? Because Rachel lived outside the tower. She's an irregular, just like Bomb. But there's something strange about that entire scenario with Rachel and Bomb. Because even though Bomb was never allowed to leave the cave, and that episode one, it takes place in the cave, which I didn't even like think about before. I, I don't know why I never really put that together. But it's just like a big part of the cave, you know? But Rachel's allowed to leave. She's allowed to leave. But it's odd. It's very strange because when she leaves, you see the light up there and she comes back and visits Bomb. Bomb isn't allowed to leave. And yet Rachel's desire is to see the sky and stars. But you'd think if she's able to leave that cave, she would be seeing the sky and stars every single night. What if that cave either isn't truly the outside, like maybe it's like some place like below the tower and that's why we see that door like etched you know at the in episode one we see that carving um we see the jihad symbol in the cave or maybe rachel is being forced to do this so when she leaves she actually isn't free like when she leaves that cave she isn't just free to go home and see the stars like she's being forced to take care of Bomb, or like maybe when she leaves that cave, it's like a prison or something, you know? Like, I have a feeling that Rachel isn't just going around free, because otherwise her desire makes absolutely no sense. Also, Rachel is always talking about the outside world, and the people who are happy and dancing, and there's always good times, and Bomb even talks about it. Bomb describes what Rachel always described as the world of light and happiness, where people dance all day and it's just a good old time. But that's not 
the tower. And you'd think that Rachel would have known that, right? Because Rachel seems to know a lot. If she did read Arlen's pocket or did know Arlen, like how would she not know all these things about the tower? Like the tower isn't this wonderful place. You'd think Rachel would know that. And you also would think that Rachel would know you can't even reach the top of the tower. It's impossible unless Jihad is taken down, which maybe that's her true goal. So maybe when Rachel says, I want to see the top, okay, I think I just put the pieces together in my head. My original theory was just that Rachel was wanting to leave the tower. Like, you know, to ent to exit this cave or prison, she has to enter the tower and then use Arlen's method to then leave the tower and then see the sight that Arlen saw, right? To see the sky and stars. Because that's what Arlen described as being beautiful. And maybe Rachel, for some reason, also desires that. But maybe, maybe Rachel is being literal. She does want to see the sky and stars atop the tower. However, who's the person blocking the way. Jihad. Arlen's entire purpose for resurrecting Bomb, this is straight up stated, is so that Bomb can kill Jihad. You know, he can slit the king's throat. And Arlen and V desire, they wanted to keep climbing. Jihad is the one who said no, which is what caused the civil war in the first place. So maybe Rachel is using wanting to see the sky and stars as a way to allude to the fact that Arlen desired that as well, but Arlen wanted to see that atop the tower for whatever reason. Her and V wanted to keep climbing. So maybe when Rachel says that, what she truly means is fulfilling the prophecy killing Jihad and continuing to climb up the tower. Also, the key to the 135th floor, right? Half of it's the rings and half of it is the 13 months. According to, guess who? Rachel. Why would Rachel know this? She's the one that told Wang Dan that the rings are half of the key to that floor. So Rachel's desire, it would make total sense if Rachel wanted to fulfill what Arlen wanted, be the person in the prophecy like we know she wants to be, but like her desire is actually to see the sky and stars by killing Jihad somehow. I don't know why Rachel thinks she can. Maybe she has some kind of kryptonite thing and fulfill Arlen's wish. Like Arlen did find a way to leave the tower. She's probably still chilling outside the tower now that I think about it, right? But Rachel wants to achieve what was previously impossible, witnessing this beautiful view by actually conquering the entire tower. It's so simplistic, but also so complicated at the same time, right? Like that is her true desire, but it's more of a, it's like alluding to the, actually the true task that Rachel has, which is killing Jihad and fulfilling what Arlen wanted. You know, it's like this weird obsessive thing that Rachel has, and instead of leaving it to Bomb, she feels like she deserves to be the one to do that. And maybe that's obvious, I've just never heard anyone bring this up. I've never heard anyone bring up this theory, that Rachel's desire is actually to kill Jihad and go past the 134th floor, but it makes total sense. Again, like Rachel's the one that talked about the Jihad rings being the key, and Arlen desired seeing that view, the exact same view, the sky and stars. Rachel always says the sky and stars. Everything makes total sense. The fact that it's all within the same chapter, 240, the fact that there's that cave with the Jihad symbol, it all just would make total sense. If maybe the outside world either wasn't good enough or she couldn't even see that view and so the only way to achieve it is to conquer the 135th floor however many floors are after that maybe that's the last floor i don't know and then she'll get to see that beautiful view you know it's ah. and maybe again maybe she'll get her wish or something like there could be more to it other than the view but i feel like whatever arlen and v desired at the top of the tower is exactly what rachel desires and also, to cap this off, I just thought of this, Rachel's name that she chose for herself on the hidden floor is Icarus. Icarus is the son of Daedalus, I think. Yeah, Daedalus in the myth, who my, my English, my English major coming through, who basically flew too close to the sun, right? He got, he had his wings crafted onto him, made of wax and all that, but he got a little too carried away. He flew too close to the sun. Who's the sun? Could be Jihad, who's the opposite of the night, which is bomb. And one thing leads to another, and that's her downfall, right? Like, she's too ambitious. She's trying to fly too high. She's trying to climb too high, you could even say. I don't know. 
I feel like there's something going on there. Also, the fact that she like wants to be an angel and that's kind of like how angels are depicted, right? With the wings. I don't know. There's there's a connection there for sure. But that's my theory. I'm, I'm sure a lot of this has been talked about. I just haven't seen it discussed very often. So let me know what you think. Does this hold any credence? Is there any more evidence that I'm missing perhaps and I forgot to mention it? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear more about this. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Tower of God content. Don't forget, this Friday is going to be a big deal. This Friday is when Towers and Gods returns. We're going to return for the new arc in the story. This is probably the arc that I'm the most excited about. It's going to be a blast. So hopefully you can join us at 7 p.m. Eastern time for the return of our weekly show. And with that being said, I'll see you in my next Tower of God series.